talk about, uh, a little bit about me is uh, I'm a software tester profession. I, I have more than five years experience in testing automation. I used to work at PayPal as regression test lead. And uh, tonight I will talk about seven steps to test automation success. It's an article that wrote uh, this guy called Fred Petticord. He is a software specialist and in automation. He is also the founder of a workshop in testing automation in Austin, Texas. He's, <laughs> he's a, a, a quite smart guy. Uh, in this article, he explains some of the problems that we face when implementing test automation. I think most of us have faced ki kind of these challenges. Uh, sometimes we have a lack of clear goal, uh, goals, a uh, lack of experience within our team. Uh, and in our organizations, we may face uh, the challenge of high turnover. So how we can actually keep calm in this kind of situation. So just uh, give us some solutions about how we can success on testing automation. One of the core key concepts that he brings us is to follow the rules of uh, software development. Uh, all, the, all the process, uh, since you are doing the planning, the analysis, the design, and of course, the documentation. I have been in many projects and where there is no documentation uh, available, and it's very hard to maintain uh, the code and, and, and fix some of the uh, test suites. I will talk a little bit more about uh, the seven uh, steps uh, that Brett's bring in this article. So the first step is to improve our testing process. Uh, one way to improve our testing process is to <coughs> improve our documentations. Uh, one of the requirements that we have uh, for testing automation is uh, to have well-defined uh, test cases, well-defined test specifications. In these test specifications, we should include how to create data for our test scripts, how we can execute each one of these steps. And of course, we should not forget about uh, the spec results. So all these kind of things has to be included in our test specifications. Sometimes, uh, well, this is based on my experience. Uh, test specifications are really poor, and they are really hard to follow. Uh, therefore, uh, trying to figure it out if uh, a test script is failing because a uh, failure in the system or is because uh, the script doesn't work, it's very, very difficult. Another way to improve our testing process uh, or automation process is get more computers. Uh, this will actually help us to be more efficient when create, when, when execute uh, our test suites. I think Selenium has a Selenium Grid, for example. Selenium Grid is a, is an architecture where you can have nodes, different nodes. It's like uh, you can have many computers and you can execute your scripts in remotely. So you don't need to use uh, local resources. And the other way is improve the product. Sometimes, uh, this is also based on my experience, we spend a lot of time uh, de deploying uh, an application in this environment. Uh, sometimes it took around two or three days just to, de to deploy the application, and then two or three days more just to make the application uh, stable enough to start testing. So that, that's one of the ways that you can actually improve your your, your process. Step number two is uh, defined requirements. So one of the problems that we, s that we saw previously is a uh, lack of uh, clear goals within the team. So just set goals and always focus on getting the biggest payback on, on, on test automation. Um, some of the companies, they just tried to, to, to target to automate everything, but that is impossible. <laughs> I mean, if you're looking for challenges, it's, that's okay. But if you, are, you, you want to, to have some payback on your automation, focus on automate those things that you really need. What, are, what those things may be, for example, 
uh, if you want to automate just the process and let the validation part uh, do it manually, that's OK. That will give you value. Or if you want to do it other way, you, you want to do the, the process manually and then let the validation process by, by automation, that will work as well. So that's what Brett is, is telling us uh, in this article. So you don't have to automate everything. Uh, most uh, graphical user interface, I think, uh, and I completely agree with Brett, because he said that it's the most expensive uh, part. And we, we will see how we can actually success uh, without having graphical user interface that much. Uh, in this case, prove the concept. So at this stage, you have to answer this question. Is it even possible to automate tests for a product? Uh, he gave us some tips how we can answer this question. Uh, so for example, prove the feasibility of the test automation as early as possible. That means you have to create a small proof of concept. And uh, here we have some candidates that may be eligible for proof of concept. Uh, regression test suites, configuration tests, test bed setup, and uh, some API testing as well. Step number four, champion the product testability. I try to summarize in one single sentence. So try to make your software agile, not fragile. Uh, design for sustainability. Uh, this is kind of easier. So we need to have uh, our test automation suite we, ha we have to be able to review it, to be maintained, to that has to be integrity, independence, and repeatable. Uh, of course, you have to plan for, 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 for deployment, since we are working with a test automation as if we were any other development project. And finally, step number seven, which is uh, face the challenges of success. Uh, avoid the old OASC syndrome. That means that you believe blindly in all test automation suites. So those automation suites, they always we have some gaps. Uh, remember the, 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 the pesticide paradox. It's for those RQAs will know from the ICQB. And uh, finally, don't forget to continue investing your test automation. So this is, this is very, very, very important. And I will finish with a small quote. Success is the sum of a small efforts repeated day in and day out. So I think that's the way that you will face one of the challenges for test automation. So thank you.